Hi, this is Jason from the QuickBooks team. Let's go over what you might see in an invoice for QuickBooks, including your company ID, the QuickBooks services you're paying for, and where you'll see any discounts you're receiving. We'll also cover why you might receive more than one invoice in a billing period. To look at your billing history, select Settings, Subscriptions and Billing, then select View Payment History. To download your invoice for QuickBooks, select Export to PDF, and then open the PDF. Here you see the invoice number and the total dollar amount you paid. The date shows when you paid the invoice. You'll also see how you paid and the payment authorization code. And you can see the period of service you paid for here. You'll also see your billing address and company ID. This is a unique number assigned to your QuickBooks company. You can also see this in QuickBooks if you press Control, Alt or Command, and question mark. From this window, you'll see your company ID and a list of keyboard shortcuts. Back to the invoice. This is where you see your QuickBooks subscriptions. Note that each type of subscription shows up as a separate line, so you'll see your company's subscription, and if you have QuickBooks Payroll, you'll see it as a separate line, along with the line for what you paid based on your number of active employees. Note that you can see a list of those employees on the last page of the invoice. Each line lists the number of charges, how much you pay for each, and the total for that subscription. If you receive a discount for a subscription, you'll see the amount of the discount and when it expires. If you upgrade or add subscriptions, you'll receive two invoices in a billing period. The first invoice will contain your regular charges and a note that you'll receive a second invoice later for your upgrades and new subscriptions. And the second invoice will only contain information about the upgraded or new subscription. During future billing periods, you'll receive all of these charges on a single invoice. You might also receive a second invoice if your first payment failed. Now you know what's on an invoice for QuickBooks, so you can better understand what you're paying for.